What's up, everybody? We are back to more Closet. If you want to see more of this content or content like this, please leave that comment or subscribe. And let's get back into it. So, last time we went along with Alice to expose herself in public. And she kind of did, like, barely. And it caused her to uh, orgasm or something. <laughs> and we touched her boob. And now we're here. And that's our lives. Alright. And action. Oh, really? In that case, I grant you permission to use the memory tonight. Huh? <laughs> Service? Uh, no, no, no. It, it, it's just my way of saying thanks for helping me today. Or, uh, something like that. She's talking about beating the meat. Her clipped speech is clear indication that she's flustered herself by what she's saying. She always leaves herself wide open like this. Uh, um... Uh, you, you don't have to walk me home today. Thanks. Uh, see you. Huh? At least take, let me take you to the station. No way, I'll die from embarrassment. Bye now. She's gonna walk home with that. Uh, Alice Chan. What? What? Don't forget to change your clothes somewhere on the way. <gasps> she comes back. Sorry, do you know if there are any public bathrooms around here? You bet! I go in them all the time. Don't laugh at me. We continue our idle chatter while I take her to a place where she can change clothes. Yay! Well, I think we finished the chapter. Yeah. So this should be probably chapter 4-ish? Right now? I don't know. The next day! Hey, Hashima! Do you have any time before lunch? You know, it's interesting that you only have one choice um, as far as a person goes in this visual novel. Usually, you have a choice between at least two girls or more. But in this one, it doesn't seem like you can romance anyone else. You can only romance Alice. But you have the choice with being like the lust or love route. And I'm pretty sure this is a love route right now. Although we're doing some pretty freaky stuff. <laughs> sure, uh, what's up? It's about to head. I'm about to head to the cafeteria for lunch when Sakahoji san stops me. <laughs> I forgot to say this earlier, but thanks for getting back my copy of another mom. Oh right, you were late, so we were in the middle of class. I sneaked it to her under her desk. Also, do you know what anything happened to the price yesterday? No? Not that I know of. Why do you ask? Have a look at this. <gasps> Wondering what's up, I looked at the screen of the phone she's holding out. Sakahoji-san, why don't you like cosplay? I'm sure you look great with your hair color. Cosplay? <laughs> She spent spamming with invitations to cosplay together over the last couple of days. Well, no. But messages suddenly stopped since last night, so that kind of got me worried. Oh, she's worried. Then she finally replied this morning, and all she said that she'd been sleeping. Who even sleeps anymore? So that's why you think something might have happened to her? Yep, and I guess. Nope. 
Not that she was with me last night or anything. Not a clue. Could I have been needing to do what we did yesterday? Anyway, why are you asking me? What? Huh? Are you two like that, eh? Or whatever? Haven't I told you before that we're not? That's, that sounds like what someone who's dying would say. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were just trying to hide it. Wait, you're serious? You're not going out? Nope. Though I did touch her boob. Even though you know everything about each other's hobbies and hang out in Akihabara together. Can you stop lining up the facts? You're making me feel like a loser. So what? You're just gonna just be a taco buddies, not even fuck buddies? Well, I should expect a mess for you, you fucking pencil dick. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I just hope she's okay. Right. I'll tell her that you were worried. I meant that exactly as I said. Make it what you will. Anyway, good luck. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we're just fellow otaku, okay? <laughs> Huh, really? That's kind of surprising. You two share so much in common. You make a great couple. Oh, she has our support. That's not supposed to be a compliment, is it? I meant that as likely as I said it. Make it what you will. Anyway, good luck. Uh huh. Thanks for your blessings. It sure doesn't feel like there's any romance between Kamahari Santa and me. Oh. As I contemplate that thought, I spot Kamahari Santa walking down the hallway. Speck of Akuma. There she is. You're not gonna go after her. Hmm? Her impish smile brings a certain devilish image to mind. You know, you're right. I'll be right back. Okay. I gotta tell her that you were worried about her after all. What? Hey, wait. Hajima. Ignoring the protests coming from behind, I leave the classroom. That's a heavy door for a classroom. It's not like a sliding door, but these are all regular doors. Hey, uh, Kamahari san. Oh, it's you, Hashimakun. Good morning. She gives me a polite greeting, probably because she's concerned about who's watching. Oh. Did you end up getting off on that memory yesterday? What? Her voice is almost a whisper. Only I can hear it, and she flashes a mischievous smile. No comment? Hi. Wakarimashita. Sure, I get it. Kasa! It's written all over her face that she thinks I jacked off to her. Which, well, I did. Oh, yeah, I admitted it. <laughs> well, I sort of did. Twice. In a row. Uh, I put that one into the spank bank. Uh, so, what should we do next time? I have so many ideas now. Kamari sent? We're at school, remember? She hurriedly covers her mouth. I'm kind of scared to find out what kind of crazy ideas she'd come up with now. Hey, are you headed towards the cafeteria? Yeah, I was about to go there when I saw you. Let's not mention the thing about psychology chants for now and see where this goes. Oh yeah? Yoriko called me over to Class A. I just arrived at the student council room, but then I had to head back right away. Isn't that your class? Did something happen? I'm not sure. There didn't seem to be anything wrong when I left. Oh, did someone catch her? Maybe? We reached the door to Alice Chan's classroom. It's rather, it's rather noisy inside. 
Bo Pick and Sagam, wondering what's going on. Whoa. Oh no. She found the cosplay. Huh? Isn't that. For a moment, I can't quite problem process what I'm seeing. What's that doing here? I look over at Kamari san. She's frozen on the spot. Estimate there's roughly a 90% chance that it's hers. And the one holding the costume, shattered by her classmates, is none other than. Oh, Ali! Uh, what's. What is this? <gasps> Kamari san's face turns pale as. Is she uh, that single question from her best friend? Of course, she's shocked. She knows better than anyone how much Miss Take loves Otaku soldier. She seems to believe that Karahari san lives in a completely different dimension. That fictitious girl is staring at us with a baffled look. The cosmic costume still in hand. <laughs> You see, uh, you see, some of the girls were running around the classroom when one of them bumped into one of the desks and gym bag fell off. And then this fell off. By the time I got here, everyone was already making big fuss. I, I see. And you know what? The desk bumped into it was yours, Ali. So, and it kind of smells about your pee a little bit. Care to explain what this is? Um, about that? The gazes of every single person uh, in the room is focused on Kamari-san. <gasps> I'm probably gonna go in and save her, probably. Be like, oh, that's mine! <laughs> I know it's pink and it's mine! <laughs> so, this costume was the source of all the fuss. Maybe they sense that something's awry. They s seem highly interested in the relationship between Kamara san and that costume. Uh, 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 um, it's just, you know. Ali? Oh, wait. Ali, why are you so flustered? Is this really. Uh. Kamar San lets out a gasp. But she takes care not to look at me. If she did, it would give away that I had something to do with this. She's trying to prevent me from getting involved. But at the same time, her expression tells me that she's not thinking of anything. Her mind just has gone blank. Ironically, though, I'm probably not the one person in the room who knows that she's really like when she's fluttered. I'm probably the only person in the room who knows what she's really like when she's fluttered. What do I do? Um, this kind of is a mistake, right? This isn't yours, is it, Allie? I mean, your pee's all over it, but it's not yours, right? Uh, um... Her gaze filts around the room. She opens her mouth to say something, but then swallows her words once more. Everyone is eagerly waiting for her answer, but she looks completely at a loss. Is that me? Is this me? I don't know. It's never really showed our character at all. Uh, she reaches out for me. Oh, it is. But quickly draws her, withdraws his hand. Standing behind her, I'm the only one who saw. It's a gesture I only understand because we made a promise. She tucked on my shirt. It's a signal conveying that she needs the comrade's help. And I'm sure I saw it right. Answer me, Ali! What is this? What is this? Hey, could you cut it out? Oh! It's me! It's actually me! You know. It's not too far off. I mean, I have shorter hair, but whatever. 
But yeah, this is the first time they showed actually our character. That's cool. And we're handsome. Look at that. Look at that handsome face. Uh, I can feel Alice questioning his gaze on me. But I make sure not to look her in the eye. Hashima-kun? Hashima Why are you stepping in? Because that costume is mine! Ah, I called it. <laughs> huh? Uh huh? Hashima-kun? Yeah, this is... No, but this was left at Ali's at Kamahari San's desk. Came out her gym bag. Naturally, it was confiscated, and the teacher asked her to give it back to me. Wait, what are you talking? Kamahari San? Not nah, fine, turn to look at her. I'm trying to give her a reassuring look, telling her that it's alright. Kamahari San. You have to stand up for me. <laughs> huh? Oh wait, huh? Huh? You've already done plenty just by hearing me out and helping me get it back from the teacher. So thanks a bunch for everything. Uh, wow. My kids are so brave. I basically just committed like social life suicide here. <laughs> like, I at my high school too. We're a man! Wait, what do you mean? These are obviously women's clothes. Or rather, isn't this a girl's dress up costume? How could you claim that's yours? Right, uh. See? No answer! You must be lying! Um, no, it's it's my little sister's. Your little sister's? But it's adult size. How could, how old is she? Wow, she's asking a lot of questions. Uh. Yoriko, don't you think you interrogated him enough? Why are you so suspicious? Because it smells like your pee! You've seen me talk to him in the student council room on multiple occasions, haven't you? But Ali, don't you think it's a little weird that it smells like your pee? He doesn't look at a little girl's dress up outfit in adult size and claims that it's his little sister's! Well, that's... Aw, oh, that hurt her inside feelings. Having it spelled out like that, I realize my logic is full of holes. But I got no choice to, but to stick to the story. Any excuses? Or are you gonna finally come clean? Hashima... kun Ah, crap. Why is she shaking her head? Oh, she stopped that. I mean, I meant to cause... I didn't mean to cause her grief. I just wanted to help her. Get the hint. Huh? Hint? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, don't you? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I'm gonna say I wore it. Oh, no! I made super... High school social life suicide. I need to wear myself, obviously. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa, everybody looks grossed out. And so the fuss slowly dies down. Well, I'm going to be known as a cross-dresser for quite some time to come. Aww. Wow. Alright, buddy. I think this is a good time to, uh, to call an episode here since we just went to another scene. But wow, what an episode.
We got to see our own face. And Alice Chan almost got caught as a cosplayer. That's crazy. Probably the craziest episode we had in a while, actually. Uh, but anyways, if you want to see more of this content or content like this, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. I'll see you all there. Bye-bye.